Now, in other news, a French journalist who had gone missing in Mali in early April has now appeared on a video. Now, the video shows Oliver Dubo saying that he was seized by a terrorist group linked to Al Qaeda. He is urging the authorities to work towards his immediate release. This 21 second heart wrenching video was not verified immediately, but the abduction incident has been confirmed by the Reporters Without Borders and a French ministry official. Media watchdog group RSF has claimed that the missing journalist was kidnapped on April the 8th while working in Mali. The organization is currently in deliberation with Malian and French governments working towards his release. Um, until now, the, the strategy was uh, to keep that quiet uh, as long as possible to make um, um, to to maximize or optimize our chances to to get us freedom. We know that. Uh, Malian authorities and French authorities are very much aware of what happened. Um, they are working on it. Uh, so um, uh, we uh, maintained uh, this um, um, quietness uh, as long as possible. But um, now with this va video, it's, it's not possible anymore. So uh, we will try to, to gather up everyone and see what we can do about it. The French Foreign Ministry has confirmed his disappearance, saying they are in touch with his family and Malian authorities. It is also carrying out technical checks of authenticity of the video release. Let's now take a look at what we know so far. Dubois was reported in Gao in northern Mali and did not return to his hotel after lunch on April the 8th. Dubois usually works for Lee Point Afrique. Uh, he was abducted by the group to support Islam and Muslims, the biggest jihadist alliance in the Sahel. Mali has been gripped with violence and terrorism since a 2012 uprising that attempted to overthrow the president. The power vacuum, which was later created, has plunged Mali into a deeper turmoil. Journalists working in the Sahel, both local and foreign, risk being killed or kidnapped. This is several armed groups who operate in the area around Gao. Now, French civilians especially have long been favored targets of kidnapping by criminal and Islamist groups. This is partly because of perceptions that the French government is prepared to pay ransoms to secure their release. France has repeatedly denied paying ransoms for hostages.